The best way to start the video series is by telling you about one of the most prolific serial killers of all time. She is thought to be the inspiration for a monster we have seen in books, movies, and even music. I am talking about Bram Stoker's Dracula, a creature who craves the blood of humans. And who is this woman? Elizabeth Bathory, also known as the Blood Countess. She is thought to have killed over 600 young women, and there have been stories of her using their blood in hopes to remain forever young. There are some who say that these stories are all conceptions of people who resented her power because she was a female. You can decide for yourself if she was a murderer or framed by malicious people threatened by her because of her gender. Elizabeth, known as Elizabeth Bathory, was born in 1560 to a prominent family. Her dad was the baron and her mom was the niece of the King of Poland. Her ancestors fought alongside Vlad Dracul, who doesn't need any introduction. Elizabeth suffered from seizures and episodes of rage. This has been thought to be from inbreeding. Her parents were related, and people have wondered if this was a prelude to her future sadistic behaviors. While little girls are playing with dolls, Elizabeth witnessed torture techniques by her family and their officers. One story is that she saw a man accused of theft sewn up in the belly of a dying horse with his head exposed and left for dead. At age 10 to 11, she became engaged to Ferenc Nadasti. They got married at age 15 and he took her name because she was of higher rank. There are accounts that while her husband was gaining notoriety being known as the Black Knight of Hungary by disemboweling Turkish captives and dancing with their lifeless bodies, Elizabeth started an affair with a peasant and they had a child. When her husband found out, he had her lover castrated and his parts and his body were thrown to a pack of hungry dogs. No one knows what happened to the baby. There are some who say that Ferenc killed the baby. Others say that the baby was given to a family in the country. The couple did not have children for 10 years. This could be due to Frank being gone for long periods of time, killing Turkish soldiers. After 10 years, they had three daughters, Anna, Arsoya, and Kataline, and a son, Andras. Letters written by or for the Countess show her to be a loving and doting mother is a different story for her servants. The husband and wife became sadistic masters. Her husband taught her his favorite ways to keep servants in check, like paper soaked in oil between toes and lighting it on fire. He was said to have brought her back a torture device to use on servants, a claw placed over a hand to tear and stab them. In 1604, Frank died. He came back from war with issues in his legs and he slowly started deteriorating. It is said that his death caused her to become even more brutal and murderous. Bathory was aided by one of her servants, Anna Darvula, or known as Dorka. In the past, Dorka was accused of witchcraft and was said to be the most sadistic helper of Bathory. She was thought to have taught some new torture techniques to the Countess, as well as partake in the actual acts. Some say she was also the Countess' lover, but that is speculation that might or might not be true. The atrocities that we have heard about started to occur after a servant girl pulled on the Countess' hair a bit too hard, and it caused Bathory to strike her. The blood of the servant caused some of the lines on her hands to disappear. It was then that she started to believe that the blood of young women, mainly virgins, would help her stop aging. According to over 300 testimonies, Bathory started torturing and killing local peasant girls who were looking for work. There are stories that she would bathe in the girls' blood. It got to the point that the locals started hiding their daughters because they knew that if they went to the Countess' castle, they would never see their daughters again. She, therefore, turned to the daughters of lower gentry who were brought to her to teach them etiquette. Bathory and her four servants would do the following atrocities to these young girls. 
severe beatings, burning or mutilation of hands and genitalia, biting the flesh off the faces, arms, breast, and other bodily parts, freezing to death, starving of victims. There is even a story that one unfortunate serving girl cooked and ate her own flesh. When she turned to the daughters of the nobles, the king finally brought her to justice. A year before Bathory was finally arrested and put on trial for her evil acts, Dorka died. However, she had four other associates that still helped her out. In December 1610, Elizabeth and those accomplices were found guilty. Three of them were executed and the fourth was sentenced to life imprisonment. Elizabeth herself was not put on trial because of her family standing, but she was shut up in her castle, held in solitary confinement in a room whose windows were walled up. She was 54 when she died there in 1614, where she lived for three years. It is thought that there were over 650 victims between 1585 and 1610. This is why Countess Elizabeth Bathory is thought to be one of the most prolific serial killers of all time. There are speculations that Elizabeth Bathory did not commit these crimes. She was a powerful woman from a powerful family, and this was something that did not sit well with people. So people think that she was falsely accused. I don't know how true that can be because there were 300 witnesses, but again, maybe they could, you know, sway 300 witnesses to come forward and come up with a bunch of lies about her. But even then, you know, the townspeople were hiding their daughters. So I don't know if I can't imagine that they would do that if there was not some truth to the story. They say that when she was getting arrested, the guards saw a girl who was being tortured and was basically dead when they got in there. But again, that was something that is not 100% proven to be true. So again, there are those that think that this was something that was you know, falsified. Please let me know in the comments below if you think that this was something that was true or is something that people came up with because they wanted her to fall from power. Thank you for watching the video and there will be a new one posted every week. So there is already an existing podcast and I also post weekly there as well. I did take a break this week because I wanted to focus on creating the YouTube channel and this video. This video is actually the first podcast episode that I had ever done. And I had to actually create a new recording for it because I will have to say that I'm very proud of myself because I have greatly improved on the podcast, but I'm not 100% there yet, but I am getting there. So I wanted to make sure that I also brought that over to the YouTube video. The reason I started the podcast was because I had lost my passion and I needed something that I was passionate about. I love true crime. There are so many like podcasts and blogs and YouTube channels that I'm subscribed to. And I also watch a lot of documentaries on Netflix, Hulu, or Prime Video. So I decided that that's what I wanted to focus on. I wanted to create a podcast of something that I was passionate about. And I've always been very intrigued by women who killed. Before I started watching Deadly Women, if you haven't watched that show, it's amazing. I had no idea that women killed. I know that sounds naive, but I honestly had no idea. Usually when I hear of any true crime event, especially, you know, serial killers, they're usually focused on men. And yes, there are more serial killers who are men, but we also can't forget the women who have killed. Please let me know in the comments below what other female killer you would like to learn more about. I will make sure that they're part of a future podcast episode, as well as create a new YouTube video discussing the woman. And, you know, usually I try to talk about, you know, their past, try to figure out like why they became the way they did. There are a, a few that I haven't been able to find a lot on when it comes to their history, but I try to delve into it as much as I can. If you haven't listened to the podcast, I will have the link in the description below. 
please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time there is a new episode. And I will see you next week.